the chemical that burns through anything, piranha solution. Piranha solution is a terrifyingly powerful chemical mixture used primarily in laboratories to clean organic residues from glassware and equipment. It has a fearsome reputation for being able to dissolve nearly any organic matter instantly, which is why it's often referred to as the chemical that burns through anything. But what exactly is piranha solution? How does it work, and why is it so dangerous? At its core, piranha solution is a mixture of concentrated sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, usually in a 3 a one or 4 a one ratio by volume. The combination of these two chemicals creates a highly oxidative environment. When hydrogen peroxide is added to sulfuric acid, it releases reactive oxygen species and generates a lot of heat. This heat alone can be enough to ignite certain organic materials on contact. The name piranha reflects how aggressively this solution eats through organic matter, much like a swarm of piranhas stripping flesh from bone in seconds. The main reason scientists and researchers use piranha solution is to clean laboratory glassware that has stubborn organic residues. Ordinary soap and water or even alcohol-based cleaners can't remove these residues effectively. Piranha solution, with its powerful oxidizing properties, breaks down carbon-based materials almost instantly, leaving the surface sterile and spotlessly clean. It is especially useful before conducting sensitive experiments where even trace amounts of contamination can affect results. However, despite its usefulness, piranha solution is extremely dangerous and must be handled with the utmost care. One of the most dangerous aspects of this chemical is its reactivity. When hydrogen peroxide is added to sulfuric acid, the reaction is highly exothermic, meaning it releases a tremendous amount of heat. This can cause the mixture to boil violently and even explode if added too quickly or in the wrong order. The correct procedure is to always add hydrogen peroxide to sulfuric acid slowly never the other way around. Adding acid to peroxide could result in a sudden and violent reaction. In addition to its thermal dangers, piranha solution can cause severe chemical burns. If it contacts human skin, it reacts instantly with the organic tissue, leading to deep and painful burns that may require medical attention. Its vapors are also highly corrosive, capable of damaging the respiratory tract, eyes, and mucous membranes. For this reason, Chemists using piranha solution always work under a fume hood and wear full protective gear, including gloves, goggles, and lab coats. Moreover, piranha solution should never be stored in sealed containers. The solution continues to release gases long after it is mixed, which can lead to a buildup of pressure inside the container. This has caused containers to explode in the past, creating hazardous chemical spills and injuries. Instead, the solution is prepared fresh before use and discarded safely shortly afterward. Waste disposal must be done cautiously, often by neutralizing the mixture and then diluting it before disposal according to institutional or environmental safety protocols. Interestingly, piranha solution is so aggressive that it can even damage the very equipment it's meant to clean if left in contact for too long. Glassware left soaking in it for extended periods can become etched or weakened. That's why timing and supervision are key when using this solution. Because of its risks, some labs are phasing out piranha solution in favor of safer, though less effective, alternatives, such as base baths or plasma cleaning systems. These may not work as quickly or thoroughly, but they pose far fewer hazards. Still, for specific high-precision applications in materials science, microfabrication, and semiconductor research, piranha solution remains unmatched in its cleaning power. In conclusion, Piranha Solution is a prime example of a chemical that embodies both immense power and danger. It is not literally capable of burning through everything, like metals or glass, but it is unrivaled in destroying organic materials. Its name is fitting not just for its destructive ability, but also as a warning. Like a tank of piranhas, it must be respected, handled with care, and used only by those who understand its full risks. While it serves a valuable role in scientific research, it also stands as a reminder of how potent and hazardous chemistry can be when misused or underestimated. Like and subscribe.